Hi, this is a short demonstration of how to use the Classroom Control PCs in the Collaborative Classroom. When you come into the Classroom and log on to the, student, to the Staff PC amongst all the Student PCs, it will take you straight in to the NetOp Vision Pro Control Panel, which looks like the screen you can see on the screen now. You'll see that there are 20 other PCs, as you won't see the, the presenter PC, and we can now take control of these or present to them. So, a number of things we might want to do. If you want to demonstrate some work, as you would in a standard classroom, a presentation, you want to present it to all the students in the room. The simplest way to, to take control of the PCs is to left click and select all the PCs in the room. Now that they've all got a blue square around them, we can now click Demo and this will take control of all the PCs in the room. Click Demonstration. There is a short time lapse of two or three seconds at most and all the students will be able to see on screen exactly what I can see on screen. Initially it is the present a control station. But as I minimise this, I can now bring up a PowerPoint slide and I can present my PowerPoint slide as I would in a standard teaching room. And as I step through my slides, the students step through the slides. Again, I can go forward and back as I would in PowerPoint normally and they can see my slides in real time. As I exit out of this, again, I may want to show a short animation. Again, I can show a short animation video. There is, at this point though, no sound available in the software. But if it was an animation video, I can demonstrate that to them. So again, as I go full screen, the students can see this video of a chemical reaction, exactly the same as I'm seeing on my screen. As we go back to the Classroom Control Centre, we now want to stop presenting to the PCs, now we've finished presenting. So I left click underneath the Demo button and go to Stop Demo. The software will tell us that Demo mode has been stopped can click that off if we don't want it. We still have the ability to go back into that again by selecting demo. But what we might want to do now is select one student PC and demonstrate to the class a piece of work that a single student or a group of students have done on one PC. Here we can select this single PC and if we right click on it we've got the ability to showcase a student. And if I click showcase student the software will load and it will bring the student screen to the room. And there we go, all the students in the room can see the work I'm presenting from a single student PC. In this case, they might have done some research on badges and simply by clicking the X button I can close this. What we might also want to do is to make it easier for us in the teaching room is to actually rather than having to look at the PCs with numbers under them we might want to ask the students to name their station. If we go into the administration tab and we click request name this brings a message up on each of the screens and we'll ask the students to type their name in. And now, as this name is input by the students, we can see under the student who presented their badger, instead of a computer name, it now says badger student's name and and the other PC it now says that that student is called Dave. So again simply allowing us to see who's in the class and actually 
if we want to showcase their work, it makes it easier for us. Another thing we might want to do with the PCs in the room is as we're, as we're on our lecture and with the, there might be one or two students who are struggling with a concept who might want to see the PowerPoint slides or a video animation once again and we can do this very simply for example in our example here if Badger wanted to see the demonstration again we could click on Badger and click demo and this will put only Badger's PC into demonstration mode. And I can now step through my slideshow very quickly while the rest of the students in the room are working. And again, this is now displaying that to just a single PC. We come out of that. And equally, we can do that by selecting two or three PCs. So if there are a number of students struggling, Again, we could demonstrate to all these students and again go back into our presentation and we could show them either our PowerPoint slides or we could show them an article from the internet that added some context. And that is as simple as it is to take control of the teaching space and the new collaborative spaces, both as the academic presenting your content, as students consuming this content, as an academic who may want to bring individual content to the group, or as an academic who may want to share or review content that's been previously shown with students who may want to go over this content again. Thank you very much and goodbye.